comes your Uncle King now. Lee, that peach Ann gave me was great. My back ain't hurting a bit, I ain't got a wrinkle in sight, and my bald spot's gone. Hey, Uncle King. I have something important to tell everyone, but I'm waiting till everyone is here. Well, they're all coming. They might look younger, but they still act like a bunch of old ladies. That's why we woke them up first. Hey, everybody, how do I look? You look like you won the lottery. I feel like it, too. Hi, Aunt Gladys. Now, Lee's got some announcement to make when we all get here. Well, look at us. We look like the Andrews sisters all dressed up alike. Were these dresses buy two, get one free? You're lucky he got all your sizes right. I told him all your sizes. Well, I ain't got no secrets, have I? Okay, now that we're all here, I got something important I need to tell you all. Wait, your mama ain't here yet. Mama's been kidnapped. What? Well, damn. Oh, Jesus. When did that happen? Paladin, we got a message from the kidnapper. What does it say? This is not a ransom note. We just want your mom to make some golden apples for us. She says she can only make one a day because her power burns out, so we'll let her go in a few days. Nothing personal. Well, you were afraid something like that was gonna happen. Will they really let her go? We're not going to wait to find out. Sakura, how did you get this note? It was folded into an origami bird and flew here on its own. It's a common Taoist spell. Sakura? Are you the same Princess Sakura that Morgan met during World War II? Huh? Morgan? He's talking about my dad. Ling Ling said you both met him during the war, but he was using a different name then. We did meet a Volsung during the war. He helped me rescue Ling Ling from a Japanese prison camp. He looked a lot like you, so it could have been your father. Yeah, that's the same story Ling Ling told me. So if I ever see my dad again, I'll ask him if he remembers it. Paladin, we've been in touch with Master Bruce. We now know the names of the kidnappers, and we've shared the information with Mr. Argent. He's keeping an eye out for them, so if they return to Birmingham, we should hear from him. But really, they could go anywhere in the world. What? How? I told you that I saw Contrast cast a secret Taoist spell. It was a teleport spell, the same spell I use. Of course, he has to know about the place he wants to go, but with his ability to steal knowledge, he would only need to meet someone from a place he wants to go. And he was seen at an international airport. Exactly. I know you never asked to be made into a monster, but we gotta keep you locked up until we figure out what to do with you. We have to make sure you don't infect anyone. I don't care. I don't need food or comfort. I'm not alive, I just exist. Come on, dude, it's not that bad. You're super strong, you heal fast, and you're immortal. Most people would love to trade places with you. Once you get decontaminated and cleaned up, you can live a nice life. What good is life? Life is great, man. You just gotta live it. There's so much to do and see and feel. And when we help each other, we make life better for everyone. Helping each other makes life better. Yeah, man, because that's what God wants us to do. That's why we live and how we should live. What is God? Oh, wow, you don't know anything about God? Man, I got a lot to tell you. Flip, we need you downstairs now. We found the criminals who run this place, and we are all in great danger. Okay, Doc, uh, let me say something to this guy real quick. Do it very quickly. Hey, man, I ain't got time to say all I need to, but I ain't just gonna leave you like this. I'll come back, I promise. Let's go now. I remember the word friend. 
Who dares to violate me? A voice. From the void, who could it be? We've contacted a life form from another dimension. A life form? How pathetically you fail to comprehend. This is not a mere life as you understand it. This is a transcendent entity beyond your concepts of life and death. I don't like it. Let's get out of here, Dot. Whatever it is, it's not pleased that you've contacted it. It said you violated it. We must close the portal before it strikes back. No, you small-minded fools. How can you look into perfect peace and fulfillment and react with fear? This is emptiness. Fool! Wait, what? Did you think you could reach out and take hold of the void? You have come to me with an offering that I detest. Desire! Damn, this show just got good. Are the others coming? Nah, I told them to stay outside. I'll call them if we need them. Ah, let's get out of here! <laughs> you don't think we need them now? What would they do? Uh, close the portal? Yeah, I'd totally call them if I thought they could do that. This new form suits you. But I am not without mercy. I will send my servants to show you the way. They will purge you of your desires so that in time you will become empty. Behold! Hunger! Disease! The Taskmaster! Lost! Pain, shame, and murder. I will lead them to their work. No, 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 this is wrong. I was going to save the world. I don't deserve this. I don't. No, you do not deserve this. Our mistress, the Boyd, is generous indeed. I don't deserve this. Billy, we can't leave him at the mercy of those demons. I know, and now that the portal is gone, we can do something. Let's go, Team Gold!